Sitze. Have you guessed where we are yet? Oh, we're cool, sir. We're at Manchester City Football Club. We're here with Barclays as part of their life skills campaign. That's right. Now, we all see what goes on on the pitch, but what we're going to do is we're going to take a sneaky look at behind the scenes what goes on off the pitch to make Manchester City tick. We're going to meet loads of people who do what they're passionate about as a career. Jess, should we give them an insight? Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes, guys, what's happening? We're here with Marcus Wood. He is the under 18s captain for Manchester City. George and Conrad, two city community coaches. So, Shad, your senior club photographer here. My name's Olivia, and I'm a health coordinator at City in the Community. And I look after all the women and girls football for the department. Alex Bailey, now, this guy's got a really, really important role at the club. Alex, tell us what you do. I am the leading aquatic operative in the club, um, which basically revolves around the aquatics training with the players, um, so rehabilitation stuff, uh, recovery stuff after, days after games. Marcus, what sort of qualities does it take to be the leader of your peers, the captain of the under 18s? You need a heart and you need passion to lead the team out and hopefully get the win and you've got to try your best and you've got to make sure you encourage everyone on the team, even if something bad happens, you've still got to be the leader, you've still got to take control and you've still got to stay calm in bad situations. What kind of qualifications do you need to be able to coach for Manchester City in the community? Uh, well, you've got to start off by getting your FA Level 1, uh, which when you're 16 years old, uh, you can do so straight away. Uh, and then you've just got to kind of build up experience. And then uh, obviously from when getting your Level 1, it goes on to your FA Level 2, and then you can become more of an experienced coach and go on to your UEFA B. But the minimum for City in the community is a Level 2 coach. How old were you when you realised that you were passionate about coaching? Uh, for me, it was when I was around about 14. Uh, so I played for Stockport County and, and I wasn't offered a contract to continue. And then I had to kind of look at another route or another pathway to stay within football. Yep. Um, so then I looked from there, how can I get involved in volunteering through City in the community was one of the options for me. Bill, despite the fact that we're not pro footballers, we're still doing what we're passionate about as a career. Of course we are, we're, we're incredibly blessed. And you guys have got to realise that if you don't, your goal might be to make it a pro footballer, but if you don't reach there, there's so many other avenues you can take within the sport you love. So remember, keep your options open, keep working at it, and you will get there. Since you were eight years old, it was always your passion to be a photographer. Yep and now your career is your passion. Yes, completely. That's the dream. Oh, completely. What advice would you give to young people in terms of following their passion? I would say you've got to keep focused and just think, right, okay, this is what I love. Don't let anybody distract you from what you love. People will advise you to say you should do this, you should do that. As long as you do what you love, it will carry you through. I would say, um, the technical skill part of any photographer's job, not just in sports photography, but it's a people related industry, photography in general, because you're putting people in a position where you don't like having your photograph taken, you feel uncomfortable, so you've yeah. got to be yeah. an amiable, easy person to get along with. So I think that is a definite skill you need to be a photographer anyway, if you're dealing with people. Now Barclays are offering this amazing opportunity for young people to get work experience with clubs and foundations. If you were a young person now, what would you think of this opportunity? I think what they're doing is incredible, to be honest, because when I was younger, I didn't know, like I said, I started off in retail and then I went to the gyms and I, I, like, I obviously came out of school or college and I thought, what do I want to do, where do I want to go? If, if you have got something in your mind and you can go to, like, you want to work in a sports club and you can go to Barclays and they'll put you in the right direction. I mean, that's yeah. a, that's a step in the right direction. It's a door opened. It's and if you take the opportunity and you work hard and you stay professional, like I said, you you're bound to make good impressions and make a career for yourself. Now you two are obviously passionate about sport, children, diet, health. How does it feel to have a career that is doing something that is your passion? To me, it's amazing because from I think it was year seven <laughs> in high school. Um, I just thought straight away I want to be involved in sport, I want to teach or coach or something along the lines of that. Um, obviously went to sixth form, did sport qualifications there, went to uni and did sport development. So it was just, it's great for me to, I've graduated this year and to come straight into a job that's like what I want to do is just brilliant for me, like, I absolutely love it. So there we have it, it's chucking down with rain, 
typical Manchester. But it hasn't dampened our spirits because it's been a great day, but now it's time for you to get involved. So if you're 18 to 24, or you know someone that is, head over to barclayslifeskills.com forward slash dream hyphen job. So whether it's a Barclays Premier League club, a music venue, whether your passion is sport or entertainment, your passion is your ticket. The weather might be bad, but still, we love playing in the rain. Oh, let's, let's go. go.